He is believed to be among the co-founders of the terrorist group Al-Shabaab. And for several years, he will serve as the group's second in command. Mukhtar Robo, also known as Abu Mansur, was the chief military commander and battle strategist for the Al-Qaeda-linked group based in south-central Somalia. But in 2013, Robo fell out of favor with the group's leader, Ahmed Abdigudani, who was killed in a U.S. airstrike in September 2014. But earlier this month, the U.S. removed him from their list of sponsors of terror after five years. And on Sunday, authorities announced that he had surrendered. Mukhtar Robo had a major fallout with Al-Shabaab. Once a commander differs with top officials, he's regarded as a traitor and enemy. He was isolated by his former members and needed all the support he could get. He's a well-known terrorist, and how the government addresses his case will now be the focus of attention. The news of his removal from the global list of wanted terrorists wasn't received well by the group, launching back-to-back -back attacks in his hideout in the Bakal region. The former military strategist for the militant group Al-Shabaab has been flown to the capital Mogadishu from his hometown in Hudur in southwestern Somalia. But for now, how Mogadishu goes about his case remains the biggest question. He is the fourth top commander to surrender in recent years. In 2014, Zakaria Ismail, Al-Shabaab's intelligence chief, with a $3 million bounty surrendered to authorities, as well as Hassan Dair Awais and Mohammed Said Atam, who was head of Al-Shabaab in the semi-autonomous region of Puntland in northeastern Somalia. Authorities have welcomed his surrender, but it's unclear how this recent move will impact on Al-Shabaab's attacks across the country. Earlier this year, the militant group was ranked the most deadly terrorist outfit in the African continent, overtaking Nigeria's Boko Haram that recently joined ranks with ISIL. The group is yet to issue a formal statement on Robo's surrender. Meanwhile, many hope that it will put an end to years of bloodshed that's already claimed thousands of lives. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia. Iranian lawmakers have given their initial approval.